Yes. Uh, who was your favorite voice actor to work with? My favorite voice actor um, to work with? Uh, God, John St. John? <laughs> <laughs> We did. Oh, and did we? Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. I worked with. Um, I did a show in the early '90s called Squat Cats. Yeah. <laughs> Squat Cats. Squat Cats. Oh the Radical Squat Group. They're cats, and they fly a plane. Don't you love it? <laughs> Who pitched that? You know, on the show just must have looked like crap on paper. Squat Cats was awesome. It was. A, it was a great I, show. I they pulled it off. But how did they pitch it? I mean, seriously, they're cats and they fly a plane, and that's and that's kind of like that. and they quite kind, you know. Uh, but I were on that show. I worked with a guy named Charlie Adler, who um, who has done uh, God a ton of stuff. He was cow and chicken. And, um, I'd, I'd have to look him up. I don't know his, his more, more current credits, but he's uh, he's, he's really terrific. There's, a, there's just a great group of people that, that travel in our circles. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal, and Christopher Freeman, and Johnny and Bosch, and I'm just waiting for the squeeze. And, you know, there, thank you. Thanks for that. It's a really, really good good group of people. The, the voiceover community is really unlike anything else in entertainment in that the people are very supportive of each other. There isn't the, there isn't the backstabbing. There isn't the competition, except for John. <laughs> and uh, and that's why it's a, it's really a great business great business to be in. Yeah. Uh, if there's any character that you've ever done voice, who would it be? Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually on the short list at Disney to be an alternate Kermit. So I if uh, you'll have to forgive me if my if my again that high register. But <laughs> no excuses. Yeah, I know. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. <laughs> the show uh, Cook ES. Yep. I'm all over Cook ES. Another time. I also tend to wind up on shows with really bad titles. Cook ES. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm I'm just about every character that doesn't have a name in that. So I'm I'm police officers and army captains and soldiers and policemen who die and newscasters. Anytime there's a newscaster on that show, it's me. And those for some reason are just very tedious. So you're the guy in the red shirt. I'm the red shirt. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Same thing in uh, a show I did called Monster, which is a great, great show. Anybody seen that? That was a monster. Oh, man. Monsters. Monsters. What a good show. And again, it's like a, it's Coke ES time. He was kind of draining, actually. You spend the whole time. Uh, yeah, you're like, just the whole time. Going, time. going Scoo. Like, I mean, <laughs> I saw other hands. No, I'm scratching. Okay, that's good. Do a George the Um. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, uh, I see. I see a lot from the list where we've talked about stuff you've done like more recently, like last like maybe decade or so. Mm -hmm. But you've been you go all the way back to like you know, freaking Star Blazers. You know, like you done any notable stuff from back in the day? Just just um, Captain Harlock and uh, and Robotech. Oh, wow. Really back from. Back from then, the originals. Uh, so I'm a big nut for the old school, like yeah. late '80s and stuff. So. Well, actually, um, do you remember the show? Was it called G Force or Battle of the Planets or oh, Ga Gotcha Man? Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They're remaking that as a really, really big budget uh, feature film. 